Hey guys, welcome back to Old Car Auto Guy, and today we are looking at a couple of oldies. Thank you for being a friend. So stay tuned. So as you guys know, this is my dad's 1936 project car, and it has a 340 out of a 71 duster. The front clip is out of a 71 duster, as well as a rear diff and transmission. So this is basically a 71 duster in disguise. Nice car. What's the retail on one of those? And as we come over here, we have a 1937 Chevrolet. This was dad's first project vehicle long before this one ever came along. It has a small block 350 with a turbo 350 trans. I forget what the rear end gears are on it. He built this back in 1989 and 90 over that winter. During that time, of course, I was very young. I was only about 14 or 15 years old, but I can remember helping out with this car. Gee, Daddy, I was only trying to help out. So guys, as you can imagine, it was this car that really did it for me as a teenager that put me into the car guy mood. So this is one of several vehicles that dad has had over the years and uh, he's always had the bug and it's transferred on to me and of course Junior has it as well and at some point in time Junior is going to want to have himself his very own car. So guys one of these days we will get the 36 Dodge out for a thorough in-depth review on a reviews day so stay tuned for that. So guys we're just getting ready to leave for the day. It is Tuesday and uh, we're out here in the back warehouse area where dad parks his car and sitting behind me i don't know if you can see it are some boxes and inside those boxes are the new wheels for the shop truck but they're not exactly what we wanted dang it bobby so let me show you what i'm talking about so when these wheels came in they came in all black on a dark blue truck we didn't think the solid black would look good and i knew in my mind that a solid black wheel wasn't what I wanted. So what I thought that I would do is get out the DA, sand down all those areas, and leave it with a silver finish. What I didn't anticipate was these wheels were powder coated. If you've never sanded, powder coated anything before in your life, well, you're in for a treat. Just this little bit on this one wheel took me almost an hour with like 40 grit sandpaper on the DA and uh, some elbow grease <laughs> just digging in there. Digging there good! That's one wheel down and three more to go. So we've got a project on our hands. So hopefully we'll have that done before the end of the weekend. And I will follow up with you again uh, in the next episode because hopefully by then I will have it done. So guys and gals, as we make our way home on this uh, Tuesday evening, one thing I wanted to share with you guys was something that has been on my mind and it kind of strikes me as a little bit funny. And that is haters. And we all know that haters are everywhere. On Facebook, Twitter, wherever. And they are just doing their thing. Well, on one of my latest videos, I had a guy just totally come down on me on a couple of comments that I made on one of my videos. And you know what? Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Everybody's entitled to the way they think about something. And I'm okay with that. In fact, I encourage that on this channel. If you guys have something you like or don't like, please state it. Tell me what you think. I don't have a problem with it because for a couple of reasons, you are entitled to your opinion. Who cares? Two, I appreciate and value those opinions. I really do. And three, you're allowed to. Say what? I'm allowed to disagree with you. You're allowed to disagree with me. We can still be friends. We can still be, you can still be followers of mine on this channel. And uh, you don't always have to like everything that I say, but if you're entertained, well, why not? What the heck? So anyways, I'm gonna post up here on the screen what the uh, conversation that Fala had to say. And while you're reading through that, again, it was nothing bad. It was nothing hurtful but it was just the tone in which he took that he automatically came down and was ignorant and mean. And so one of the things that I had said with, to him, as you guys will read, was thank you for the interaction because it's the interaction is what YouTube wants to see on, your, uh, on, on our channels. And that interaction is what's gonna help make this channel succeed. 
and become a part of what YouTube wants to see with the interaction with everybody. So guys, I, I will never, ever stop you guys from ca casting your opinion. In fact, I will encourage you to leave them in the comment section down below. One thing though I wanted to touch base on, one thing that I will not tolerate is cursing. Ding. And in fact, I have a lot of the common swear words set up so that it automatically will block you temporarily until I view the, what you've said um, in the chat, as well as hatred. You can dislike and you can make all the comments you want, but if you're hateful, I'm not going to post your comment. And in fact, I will ban the comment Hate monger! From, my, from that section because I'm not going to tolerate that. I've been in several situations in my life where I've been on the receiving end of a lot of hateful comments and I'm not going to tolerate it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that everybody that comments on my, uh, on my videos, I appreciate it, good or bad. But just remember, please keep it clean, don't be hateful, and keep it constructive. I don't mind you guys telling me that I'm doing something wrong or did something stupid or this or that. Just be mindful of the fact that there are children that read these comments and watch this channel as I, I, I take pride in the fact that I'm offering family friendly content here on this channel and I hope that you guys will heed to that and, uh, and I know all of you guys do but every once in a while we just happen to get one of these people who uh, kind of has to ruin it for everybody. So Buddy's comment, I left it up. You guys can go read it. You know that it's still there on my last video from Saturday morning. So. I didn't delete it. I didn't ban the guy. He's allowed to say what he wants. And I appreciate that. So keep those comments coming. So let's go back to the shop truck project here just for a moment one more time. Here we go. The parts that I ordered that I again explained to you in the last video, the which is the uh, leveling kit and the wheel spacers, I've ordered those and they should be here this week. And I'm hoping that by the time I get those wheels refinished and ready to put on the truck that I will have all those parts here and ready to get them installed. So I'm hoping that by Thursday's video or even Saturday's video, I will have all that stuff recorded and ready to put together to give you guys the final product. So I hope you stick around for that. I again, talking about comments, a lot of you guys said that, you know, you're probably going to have to put a small lift in it. Uh, you may have to use some wheel spacers, this and that, and I kind of knew that gathering up some information of my own. So I got those pieces coming and uh, we're going to hope that these 35 inch tires are going to fit on the F-150 without too much challenge. So that will be the next project over the course of the next few videos. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I was doing with the wheels to get them to the condition that I showed you a few minutes ago. So guys, in the comment section, there are five links. I hope you go take a look at those. Those are five ways that you can help support me in more ways than just watching these videos. The fifth one is for Sussex Beard Oil. And Sussex Beard Oil has opted to sponsor this beard for this channel. So here is a word from Sussex Beard Oil. Today's video is brought to you by Sussex Beard Oil. And if you go to sussexbeard.com and you enter in a regular size Sussex Beard Oil, which is this one, you can get a travel size absolutely free and you can choose either their ginger beard oil or their original. All you gotta do is put them both in your cart, enter in the promo code GloveBox and you will get your travel size absolutely free. Now back to your regular schedule program. And that is it guys. I hope you take advantage of all those links and uh, continue to watch Old Car Auto Guy. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and bell notification down in the bottom corner there. If you do that, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you again in the next video. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no-go. I just can't take cold. This